So what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you saw in the intro, um, I've been doing a lot of packing, both in the garage and in the house. Um, I am three days post Atlanta trip. That was a lot of fun. Uh, getting to meet all those guys, Boost, Speed, Noir RTM, Enthusiast POV, the Atlanta folks, and getting to talk to them, see their cars. Uh, that was a experience, to say the least, and well worth the trip. And I'm hoping that in the future, if they do one again, I can get down there because, like I said, every experience to interact and talk to people that share your common interests, that's an experience worth having. So, I think what we're going to do today, or start today, I should say, is going to be a moving vlog. Um, this is going to encompass the next five days, so to speak, um, give or take maybe a day or two. Uh, I sign for the house in two days, and then I can start officially moving. But, I don't think I'm going to move anything else or pack anything else in the garage because literally moving stuff from one side of the room to the other side of the room is not going to get me anywhere. Um, to tear that shelf down, I got to get everything off. But to take everything off, it's got to go on the floor. I still plan on using the garage space for the car while I'm waiting to sign and get moved in. So I'm not going to do anything else in here until I actually have somewhere to put this stuff, whether it be the bed of a truck or a U-Haul, and get it moved. So with that said, I think I'm going to go ahead and install these lug nuts. Um, I picked these up from AutoZone today. I had to order them. They didn't have them in, the, in stock at the store here. But they are steel red anodized lugs to replace the aluminum rusted ones that I have in the car now. Um, I decided to go with red lugs instead of the standard alloy. Just because I wanted to have a little bit of color and variety on the car. But I didn't want to overpower it, so to speak. Now, I'll show you what I mean. So a lot of Q50 owners hate the redness of these tail lights, and they all tint them, which is fine. I'm all for a tinted light. But I personally love the red that these lights have on them. Um, I had a Mazda Speed 3 before this, and they had the uh, chrome housing Alteza lights, and I hated the look. I actually had those lights candy sprayed red and then clear coated to look just like this. So when these came like this, I was ecstatic. Um, I love this, but... I want more red on the car, but I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to kill it. So, first thing I did, I found these anodized red valve caps, and I thought that was pretty cool. They were pretty close to the color of the uh, tail lights. It's subtle. And then I was like, okay, well, the lugs are rusted out. Why not bring a little bit more red into the wheels to really make this gunmetal pop with the uh, the lug nuts there? And with the addition of me painting my valve, my uh, calipers red too, I think this all in here will really complement the red on the tails and be just enough across the car to uh, make it worthwhile and good to look at. Okay, so the torque spec on the Q50 lug nuts is 80 foot-pounds. Um, what I like to do, as you saw, I like to hand tight first. I don't torque anything down with the, with the pry bar. I just hand tight it. Then I'll use the actual torque wrench and do all of them at 70 foot-pounds. And then I'll take them all to 80 foot-pounds. Then I'll move on to the next three wheels. All right, those are now torqued down, 70 pounds and then 80 pounds. And I gotta say, they look as good as I expected. I'm gonna go ahead and do the next three wheels now. Went ahead and knocked out the last three wheels. Overall, I gotta say, I like the look. Um, there's gonna be people that hate it, and that's fine. People have their right to opinion. But I live true to what I say on the forums when I see people talking about or ask about opinions for car mods. If you're happy with it and it suits you, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks because it's your car and you pay for it. And in regards to the red blood nuts, I like it, and I'm happy about it. It's moving time. Uh. 
everything from in here is slowly making its way in there. But I'm trying to save this for last. I want to break that shit. Get back into it. And just like that, one chapter closes, another chapter begins. The uh, channel started in this garage. It grew in this garage and it got me to almost 2,000 subscribers is where we sit right now. Um, I will always be grateful for where I started, as you should be, but as one door closes, another one opens, and I look forward to seeing what the next uh, plan or next iteration of the channel is going to be. driving the queue again uh, after two days of driving around in that damn u-haul it really makes you appreciate the finer things in life when it comes to automobiles and suspensions and smells <laughs> uh, everything pretty much so I got a couple things to do today um, I need to go by the apartment do some cleaning in there I got about 10 days left before I got to have the apartment closed out so I'm gonna do that gotta go by Lowe's uh, I gotta buy a couple more things to get the house set up. Um, those little anti-slip mats that go into the rugs. I need to buy those, put those down before I put the big rugs down. Uh, the couch got delivered this morning. I gotta take that out of the box and assemble that. And it's like a big adult Legos. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and knock those things out. And then I'll bring y'all back into it. We'll close this video out with the state of the garage now show you a little bit of what I bought to uh, make the garage a little more uh, functional and then the next video you'll get from me is probably gonna be in a couple weeks once I have the garage rebuilt and set up but yeah so I'll, uh, I'll bring you back in a little bit so like I said before I close this video out I wanted to show you what I'm dealing with right now um, this is actually looking a lot better than it was originally about you know, 12 hours ago. Uh, I got a lot of the stuff taken inside. The couches are not staying. Those are going upstairs in the media room. All this stuff up here is Christmas decor that's going to go upstairs as well. I was able to get my shelf to fit over in this corner pretty nice. Um, bumpers up nice and high so that way it doesn't get messed up. And I'm slowly starting to fill that shelf in temporarily until I can get my other shelving built as well. Wide body is over in that corner, hanging out, waiting for its time to shine. And let me see what else. I went to Lowe's and I found this really cool utility flooring. It covers 12 square feet for 30 bucks. It's about a quarter inch thick rubber. So that's cool. I'm gonna put that at the foot of my new workbench, which I actually just bought yesterday and picked up. As you can see right here, it is a six foot long, 30 inch wide, 38 inch tall cobalt uh, wooden surface bench. So this is gonna be nice. I'll get this put together and get it shoved somewhere in the corner over there. Um, I have a plan on making a L-shaped bench in that corner using some other stuff, but I'll save that for another day. Anyway, this is where I'm at right now and the next video you see will be the transformation of this garage, so to speak. So until then, if you haven't already, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.